Hello and welcome to another Lawson Estate Agents video viewing. We are here today to see a really gorgeous four bedroom detached property in Tramway Road in Woolwell. Um, for those of you that are not all that familiar with Woolwell, very nice residential area, very sought after, very um, highly sought after primary school in the area which always helps to keep the uh, the desirability of an area up you've got local doctor's surgery local shop post office community center takeaways hairdressers etc all here within Woolwell itself you've got really good sized Tesco and Lidl right in the uh, in the area as well as well as local transport links and employment so a very very popular residential family area um, tramway road as you can see is a very nice residential road lots of really lovely properties down here it is as is pretty much every road in Woolwell a cul-de-sac so nice and quiet so your traffic is next to non-existent so the property itself we've got driveway parking for at least three potentially if it's squeezed maybe even four cars and um, the property does have a garage as you can see but some internal renovation has been done which has taken a little bit of the width of the garage so you couldn't park a car in there it'd be perfect for storage space worktop space motorbikes that kind of stuff but I'll, I'll show you the kind of the, the dimensions inside there as we go on through so as we come into the property through the front door we then come into entrance hallway so a really nicely presented entrance hallway you've got storage cupboard off to one side there for shoes and coats etc just tucked out of the way and then as we come on through you've got the corridor that kind of leads to the side here you've got doorway access to the garage I'll show you that in a little bit more detail as we come through. Coming through to the lounge, really good size lounge, decor throughout here is really high, really lovely standard. Um, good size lounge, um, you've got sort of bifold indoors out to the sort of kitchen diner and on that wall you've got a log burner which personally I'm a big fan of but it is a log burner not a multi-fuel. Um, it gets serviced and chimney swept every year and then you've got a nice window out to the front. So a nice, bright, sunny room. And then coming on through, we lead through to the kitchen diner across the rear. So as we come through, the kitchen diner at the rear spans pretty much the entire width of the property. Beautiful room. You've got a nice big window looking out to the garden. Then it leads out to the conservatory. So the flow of light through here is lovely. Nice contemporary units, you've got solid wood worktops in here that I believe are maple. You've got built-in dishwasher, extra storage, extra worktop, electric hob, electric oven. Just on the whole, a really nice contemporary modern space. But it works, there's, there's lots of worktop space, it's nice and practical. Decent sized four-seater table and chairs in here, you could accommodate a six quite happily without it being cramped. And then you've still got the extra space of a breakfast bar as well. So nice sociable family space. Coming through to the rear, we come out to conservatory. And the conservatory is stunning. Really, really lovely. You've got two nice big roof windows up there. So the light coming down through is brilliant. Um, and just a really nice, luxurious extra living space out here looking out onto the garden. The garden is beautiful. Coming out through the patio doors... We've got a nice patio area laid on the sort of slightly lower level. Um, you've got side access to the side of the property um, with a gateway leading out to the drive. A couple of steps up, but not a lot. Um, and then as you come up to the top of the garden, I mean, we're here today, it's almost lunchtime. Beautiful sunny spot, really nice garden. Nice and low maintenance, but if you're a particular fan of gardening, there's quite a lot here that you could do. And then we've got another raised up seating area over to that side as well. Now, tucked down on the other side of the property, we've got at the moment what is a log store, um, but you could easily accommodate a shed or something similar for storage in there. So very nicely thought through and presented garden. And then coming back in, We'll come back through that beautiful conservatory and then 
through the kitchen to the end where we come to utility room. So obviously space for washing machine, extra worktop space, sink, extra cabinets up to the top. And then at the rear, we've got downstairs WC as well. So everything you could need to have accommodated on that ground floor is. And then this is the little corridor that uh, has been pinched from the garage. Um, so it leads you right through to the kitchen from the front door. And what you have got then is a door giving access into the garage. Now, I'll just, we're a couple of steps down and then I'll hit the light. So, garage from the front, as you can see, you've got your full width garage door. But we then have the doorway and the wall that comes in. And what that does is it narrows this space going back. So obviously you can't accommodate a vehicle in here anymore. Motorbikes, push bikes, storage, workshop space. It's still got a huge amount of flexibility for what you want to use this space for. Um, but in this day and age, I think less and less people use garages necessarily for a vehicle. So for most people, this space would be easily accommodated in a flexible manner. So coming out of there, we then head on upstairs. Now upstairs, we are four bedrooms and three bathrooms, which is quite nice in this day and age. So hallway as you come up, nice open hallway that stretches both sides of the stairs. First bedroom round to the left is the main. So we've got a runner built in wardrobes to that side and another little angled cupboard into that corner. Really nice size double. And then coming along through, we've got a very nicely appointed ensuite shower room. Generous shower corner in there, corner shower, sorry, in there, WC and basin. Coming back along through, we then go to second bedroom. So again, another good size double. You've got another built-in storage unit into the corner there. And again, at the moment it's been used as a work from home space, um, but easily generous double size bedroom in here. We then come along to main bathroom. So as you would expect, WC, basin, bath with shower over. Again, all presented really lovely. And that's your main bathroom in there. We then come on through to third and smallest of the bedrooms. So at the moment, I'm guessing a kind of spare with a kind of double futon pull out in there. So again, you could get a double bed in here and then as the room tucks around the corner, room for a wardrobe as well, if you're looking at it as a spare. Um, depends on what you need the room to do. But a nice sized, if not very generous single or a small double, depending on what your use of the room would need to be. We've then got airing cupboard storage just off the hallway here. And then we come into fourth and final bedroom again. Another good size double. You've got a bit of built in storage there under that little leaves slope. And then the other bonus with this is we have a second en suite. So as you come on through, we've got a shower unit off to the side there. And then WC and basin, etc. as well. So for those of you with, as in this case, of teenage kids at home or older older children that still live at home or extra people that you need to accommodate a second on suite can be really really beneficial so that is our video viewing of number 10 tramway road if you would like any further information about this property or to book a viewing please give our office a call on plymouth 791 333 thanks